We live in an era that engineering uh, has the potential to really impact uh, humanity in ways that we could not imagine before. Okay? This is the era of technology and engineering innovation infusing through every aspect of our lives. Stony Brook University and our college in particular are, are trying to lead the way to really bring this uh, full integration of uh, technology, uh, society, economics, cultural issues, uh, ethics, all in one picture, because that's what really the engineer of the future will look like and will have to do in order to be able to be successful. What holistic engineering is really all about is to be able to step back and see the world in a way that allows us to ask different kinds of questions that leads us to the pursuit of potentially different kinds of solutions to problems. Our research uh, is structured along four major cross-cutting thrusts. The first, energy systems for uh, sustainability, renewable energy, energy efficiency, uh, environmentally friendly uh, combustion systems, uh, energy storage, grid integration, uh, and policy. What we are doing in the low carbon Advanced Energy Technologies, which is housed in the Energy Center, is to really start developing technologies that are going to actually, instead of going a one-way street of the carbon dioxide, it actually is going to start producing from materials like tree trimmings, which are waste materials, otherwise a nuisance otherwise, but turning it into a feedstock that then captures that and turns that into a fuel, and then when it goes back, what, what they call is it's a CO2 net neutral, because this came from something that utilized CO2 from the atmosphere when you grow a tree, but when you then make a fuel out of that and burn it, it's the same CO2 that are recycling. The second cross-cutting thrust is smart and resilient cities and ecosystems. One application is, for, for example, transportation. We're recently uh, part of a, a large multi-university initiative to uh, develop infrastructure that's secure and resilient. The approach that we're using is, is we have funding to instrument our highways and bridges and collect all kinds of different types of data. Uh, and then what we do is we process that data and we use that data really to both improve the efficiency of our transportation systems, but also to improve uh, the resiliency and security of these systems. The third cross-cutting uh, theme is uh, the area of engineering-driven medicine. Uh, the convergence of uh, engineering and medicine uh, has been referred to by some as the third revolution in medicine. We develop uh, many uh, innovative design to diagnose and treat different human diseases. One of the very, very fun things that we're doing right now is to develop a game that we can use a virtual reality uh, to help people lose body weight. Because obesity is a big problem in the U.S. right now, and working with the computer science department, we are able to develop a motion-based game. And so people would be just thinking that they are playing a game, but in reality, they're actually losing weight at the same time. Even though I'm in biomedical engineering, I've had to learn about electrical circuit analysis, I've had to learn about mechanics, I've had to learn about dynamics. So there's not just one aspect, but it's a holistic approach to it. Stony Brook has amazing students. One of the things that impresses me is the diversity of the students. They are diverse from the point of view of the U.S. They're diverse in a global sense. So when I'm teaching a course, I literally have students from all over the world. and that adds a particular dimension, interesting dimension to everything that we do. The fourth uh, cross-cutting theme uh, is the securing cyber everything. In my view, this is the grand challenge of them all. We have established a couple of years back in Stony Brook a National Security Institute. This is a, a team of interdisciplinary researchers. Most of them are faculty members and associated researchers, postdocs and graduate students. Uh, that come together to research and develop technologies to secure uh, basically all types of digital data. There is a growing realization that the uh, security does not only depend on the software solutions, we need to develop fundamentally new hardware solutions to secure computers. And we are one of the leaders in, in this, this particular area. 
engineers no longer just design products, they shape humanity. We are, we are shaping society. And that as leaders of a major research university in engineering, we have to open our eyes and be, and welcome different ways to think about engineering education going forward. It's, it's a truly exciting time to be, uh, to be in engineering research today and education. Thank you.